In this video, you'll learn how to use the Swift UI grid system and make a simple grid like this. So right here, I just have a blank Swift UI project. I just did file new app and chose Swift UI. And the first thing we want to do is sort of define our data model. So in the example, I just had a grid of colored squares. So to do that, I'm going to create a model. I'm just going to call mine item. And I'm just going to make sure it conforms to identifiable so that we can loop through each item and create the grid. So because it's identifiable, we need an ID. And I'm just going to make this equal to a UUID. And I'm also going to give them a title, which is going to be a string. And also a color, which is going to be a Swift UI color, which is just there. I'm then going to create a method that just generates a load of these items for me. So I'm going to make a new static function called getItems. And this is just going to return an array of items. And to do this, I'm just going to loop through 15 times. And I'm going to map these to a new item. So the title of these will just be item and then string interpolation, the number. And then the color, I'm just going to pick a random color from an array of colors that I'm just going to define here. So we're going to have blue green and red and then to pick a random item you can just do dot random element and you have to force unwrap this as well it's probably a cleaner way of doing this but this is just an example just to really quickly get an array of items so in our content view we want to get this array of items so we'll do private let items equals item dot get items so now the next part is how do we actually display these items in a nice grid? So the first thing you want to do is define the columns of your grid. So I'm just going to do private let columns equals a new array of something. So in this array, we can define each grid item. So I'm going to do grid item, open parentheses. Now we have three different options for this. So we have fixed size, which means each item in each row will have a fixed size. We also have adaptive, and this will fit as many items per row as possible, but each item will need a minimum width. And finally, we have flexible, which is what we're going to be using today. So you can do dot flexible, and I'm just going to leave it blank like that. And now I want two columns in my grid. I want one here and one here. So that means I'm going to want two grid items in my array of columns. So I'm just going to do a comma and then a new grid item that's also dot flexible. And now we want to create our actual grid. So I'm going to get rid of the text in the body. And to start things off, I want a navigation bar. So I'm going to wrap this in a navigation view. The next thing we want is a scroll view because I want to be able to scroll down my grid. So I'll just create a scroll view here. And on this scroll view, I'll just attach a navigation bar title. We'll just call it colors for now. And here we need to actually create our grid. So you do this with a lazy V grid. And in the initializer, we want to define our columns, which we've already done. So for the columns, we'll just pass in our array of columns that we've already made. And we can also define how much spacing we want between each item. I'm just going to do 10 for now, but we can always play around with this. And inside the grid, we want to loop through each item in our array and display it nicely. So I'm going to do for each items and item in. And the reason this works is because our item conforms to identifiable, which is great. And for each item in the grid, I just want a nice background color and a title. So I'm just going to make a Z stack and we're going to have a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of 20. And the foreground color of this will be the items color. So we'll do item dot color. And I want a fixed height for each one of these. So I'm going to do a frame with just a height and I'm going to do 200. And on top of this rounded rectangle, I want the title. So I'm going to create a text with the item dot title in it. And I'm just going to set the font to a system font with a size of 24. 
I want it bold and also rounded. And finally, I'm just going to set the font color to white so we can see it. And that's it, we've created our grid. So if you resume the preview, you can see we've got our grid of items. We're not quite done yet, just because I want a bit of padding on either side. So for underneath our grid, we can do dot padding, and we'll just wrap 10 padding around it. And as you can see, it's got nice even padding between each item. So this spacing here, is a spacing between each item and this padding is just the spacing of the grid from each of the edges. And if we run this as well, you can see that you can scroll up and down and each grid item displays nicely. So thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.